Hello friends, uh, today I will explain about the plasma technique also called as passive immunization that has been used uh, throughout the world to overcome this uh, novel coronavirus disease. Uh, so in this technique, first of all, before talking about the technique, uh, let me tell you about the structure for the virus. Okay, in my previous video, I have detailed uh, explained about the detailed structure about its penetration, its replication, and the uh, drugs that has been used against this coronavirus in very detail. But again, uh, let's briefly talk about the structure of this virus. Here you can see uh, this outer coating is called as envelope protein. On the envelope protein, these green in, uh, you can see they are called as spike protein. Uh, inside of the envelope protein, there is another layer of protein that is called as capsid and inside the capsid, uh, the genome of this virus that is uh, RNA is present. Okay, uh, here you can see the structure of a lung cells. On the uh, lung cell, here you can see the protein that is called as ACE2 protein. This, two, this ACE2 protein is basically responsible for the attachment of coronavirus and for its penetration into the cell. So this attachment will take the spike protein and ACE2 inhibitor. So ACE2 uh, enzyme, they will first attach and then this coronavirus will get entered into the uh, uh, cell where it will replicate and uh, it will uh, damage the uh, lung cell and it will, it will, it will cause a uh, state like pneumonia. Okay. So now not talk about the uh, plasma technique. Plasma technique is basically a technique in which uh, a person who has recovered uh, from the coronavirus, who has recovered, recovered from the COVID-19 disease, uh, the blood from that particular, particular patient will be taken and the cellular portion and the plasma portion will be separated. Then the plasma will be injected to a other person that is suffering from a coronavirus, that is patient of COVID-19. Uh, the plasma will be in, uh, infused to that patient and uh, ultimately after few days hopefully the patient will uh, start recovering. So let's talk about what is the exact mechanism of passive immunization or what is the exact mechanism of uh, plasma technique, what is the immunology of plasma technique. So let's assume that uh, this is a patient A who is a patient of coronavirus. Okay, and uh, this patient has very active immunity and this patient after some time start making antibodies. Now what are antibodies basically? Uh, antibodies are the protein that are made against the antigens. Now what are the antigens? Any foreign pathogen which is entering into our body has some proteins on the outer surface uh, that are recognized by our uh, immune system. These specific protein is called as the antigen. So in the case of, for example, this is uh, coronavirus that is pathogen and here you can see spike protein. These are the antigens. Okay. Now these antigens will be recognized by the immune system of this patient, patient A and these antigens then will be taken into the secondary lymphoid organ that is lymph node or spleen. In, you know that in the secondary lymphoid organ, T lymphocyte, and the B lymphocyte are present in the lymph node and the spleen. T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte are present. In the previous class, I have explained detail mechanism how T lymphocyte will produce in the bone. They will go to the thymus where the maturation of T lymphocyte take place and they will they will go into the lymph node. Uh, then they will reside there and then they will be activated by uh, antigen presenting cell. I have explained a very detailed and lecture about uh, T lymphocyte activation. Similarly, B lymphocytes will be produced in the bone marrow, uh, bone marrow, and then they will come and stay in the uh, germinal center of the lymphoid uh, uh, lymph node. Okay, but they are not active. They are just present. They are not active. They will be activated when they will be presented with some antigen, and when coronavirus will get entered, it means antigen is entering into the our body, the immune system. Those uh, immune cells are called as APCs, antigen presenting cells, like the cells who are going to present the antigen to the T lymphocyte in the lymph node. So these APC will take these antigen of the coronavirus, they will go into the T uh, uh, lymph node and they will present 
For example, this APC is presenting this spike protein, or we can say presenting this antigen to the TH0. And he is asking you, look, dude, I have something to show you. Please identify this and get activated. Okay, now this TH0 will get activated and it will be converted into TH1 and TH2. TH1 is related to the cytotoxic uh, T cell mediated immunity. We will talk uh, about uh, this type of mediate, uh, immunity in the later videos. Now, TH2, this TH2 basically will activate the B cell. And this B cell, B lymphocyte, will uh, be converted into plasma cell. Now, plasma cell is basically responsible for production of antibodies, for the formation of antibodies. Now, this these antibodies that are being produced by the plasma cells, they are very specific. They are very specific against against this antigen that was presented to the uh, T lymphocyte. And these antigens are basically spike protein of the corona virus so it means these antigens antibodies antibodies are made by our bodies against the antigen these antibodies are responsible for to identify the antigen that has been presented to them so it means these antigen they will go and they will bind to this uh, antigen against which they have been produced okay now now these anti antibodies have been formed now these antibodies will go and they will start attaching over the spike protein because they has been made, they has been activated against the spike protein that was uh, presented by the APC. Okay. Now these antibodies will go and they will start attaching over the spike protein. Once these antibodies will attach over the spike protein, what will happen? Now this spike protein will not be able to attach over the ACE2 protein that is present on the pneumocyte over lung cells. When this attachment will not take place, obviously the virus will not be able to enter into the uh, lungs over lung cells. When this virus will not be able to enter into the lung cell, obviously it will not be able to replicate. So after a few time, it will be destroyed by our immune system because it is not replicating, it is not dividing. So after a few time, this will be uh, overcome by our immune system and it will be destroyed. Okay, so this is the reason. Now these antibodies will stay into the blood of this patient for some time, approximately for, might be for one year. Okay, there will be basically two type of antibody one will be IgG, uh, IgM and second will be IgG. First IgM will be formed and uh, after a few days, like after uh, 11 to 15 days, IgG will be formed. Both of these antibodies are responsible uh, for binding over the antigen of the coronavirus. Now, what will happen? These antib antibodies are present in the blood of this patient. Okay, so if there is another patient, patient B, patient B. Now he is also suffering from a coronavirus but unfortunately his immune system is not as much active and he has not uh, uh, he is not producing antibodies uh, enough. So what will happen? We will take blood of this patient. We will take blood from patient A. Okay. We will take blood from patient A and you know in the blood uh, basically cells and a fluid component both are the present but we don't need cell cellular uh, portion of the blood we need plasma we need fluid because the antibodies are not present on the cells they are present in the, on the in the fluid so what we will do we will centrifuge the blood centrifuge like we will rotate the blood on very high speed through an instrument that is not a uh, very unique instrument it is present in almost all the uh, laboratories so after once once the blood uh, will be centrifuged plasma or liquid portion will be separated and cellular portion like RBCs, uh, platelets, they will be separated. Now this plasma will be having antibodies. These antibodies that were produced against the spike protein. This plasma will be having antibodies. Now what we will do, we will transfuse, we will infuse these antibody to the patient B. To the patient B. Now, what will happen? The coronavirus that is present in the patient B, and 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 we have injected antibodies into the patient B. These antibodies will go and bind over the spikes protein of the coronavirus in the patient B. Now, this coronavirus 
or spike pro protein has been blocked now this coronavirus will not be able to enter into the cell of this patient B because all the spike protein has been blocked by the antibody now this coronavirus will not be able to get into the cells of this patient B as well so this is the reason this is called as passive immunization because this patient is treating himself by the antibodies but these antibodies are not being produced by itself if antibodies are not being produced by itself it is uh, being used uh, it is being produced by some other host this is called as passive immunization so patient b is receiving passive immunization patient a was active uh, actively immune because it was it was producing its antibody by itself so it was active immun uh, immunity and this is the passive immun uh, immunity okay so that is the reason this technique is also called as passive immunization uh, i am very much uh sure that uh, you must like the lecture please don't forget to subscribe and uh, my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notification for the future videos and uh, if you want to know about uh, immunity in detail please uh, you can uh, visit my channel a detailed advanced and basic level concept related to immunity has been explained in all my videos uh, similarly uh, concept related to genetics and uh, concepts uh, related to uh, pathology they also have been explained thank you so thank you so much